If you wear Mary's brown scapular, you should know St. Simon Stock because you have worn his picture along with Our Lady's picture on your scapular. Actually, he is an old friend. It was to him, St. Simon of England, that our Blessed Mother gave the great scapular promise, whosoever dies wearing this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. When the priest enrolled you in the scapular, he said, receive this blessed scapular and ask the most holy virgin that by her merits, it may be worn with no stain of sin and may protect you from all harm and bring you into everlasting life. This film will give a very brief idea of how our Blessed Mother keeps her promise. I saw her keep it one day in a town near Chicago where I was called to the bedside of a man away from the sacraments for many years. He did not want to see me. He would not talk. Then I asked him to look at the little scapular I was holding. Will you wear this if I put it on? I ask nothing more. He agreed to wear it. Within the hour, he wanted to go to confession and make his peace with God. It did not surprise me because for over 700 years, Our Lady has been working in this way through her scapular. On the very day Our Lady gave the scapular to St. Simon Stock, he was hurriedly called by the Lord Peter of Linton. Come quickly, Father. My brother is dying in despair. St. Simon Stock, arriving at the bedside of the dying man, placed his scapular over him, asking our Blessed Mother to keep her promise. Immediately, the man repented and died a friend of God. That night, the dead man appeared to his brother, the Lord Peter, saying, I have been saved through the most powerful queen and the habit of that blessed man as a shield. St. Alphonsus tells us, Modern heretics make a mockery of wearing the scapular. They decry it as so much trifling nonsense. Yet we know that sovereign pontiffs have approved it. It is remarkable that just 25 years after the vision, Pope Gregory X was buried wearing the scapular. When his tomb was opened 600 years after his death, his scapular was found intact. You will understand why the devil works against those who promote the scapular. When you hear the story of Venerable Francis Apez, one day his scapular fell off. As he replaced it, the devil howled, take it off, take off the habit which snatches so many souls from us. Then Francis made the devil admit that there are three things of which the demons are most afraid. The holy name of Jesus, the name of Mary, and the holy scapular of Carmel. Every month, a shipment of 1,000 slaves would arrive in Cartagena, South America. St. Peter Claver, apostle of the Negro, used the scapular to ensure the salvation of his converts. Peter Claver organized catechists to give them instructions, and before they were sold, he saw that they were baptized. Many ecclesiastics accused the saint of indiscreet zeal, but Peter reminded them that he had baptized and had enrolled all in Our Lady's scapular. He was confident that Mary would watch over each one. Imagine, St. Peter Claver was responsible for over 300,000 converts. Blessed Claude de la Colombière Jesuit confessor to St. Margaret Mary, tells us about a soldier of France, his body covered with wounds, who said to his enemies, still attacking him, you have done enough. I am a child of Mary, and I wear her holy scapular. I will not die without confession. In truth, he lived until the priest arrived. In 1845, the English ship king of the ocean, was lashed by a wild hurricane. Among the passengers was the Reverend Fisher, a Protestant minister, 
with his wife and children, James and Amelia. The minister and others struggle to the deck in order to pray together for mercy and forgiveness since the end was at hand. Among the crew was a young Irishman, John McCollum. He opened his shirt and took off his scapular, making with it the sign of the cross over the angry waves. Then he threw the scapular into the ocean. At that very moment, the wind calmed. Only one more wave washed the deck, bringing with it the scapular which landed at the boy's feet. Fisher and his family had observed what the boy did, and they questioned him. He told them about the virgin and her scapular, her promise of protection in time of danger. So impressed were they that they determined to enter the church and enjoy a like protection. Enrollment in the scapular is a call to a new life with Mary. It means a life spent in thinking about Our Lady, her life, her words, her actions, a life of thinking and acting with Mary. A most extraordinary scapular incident is found in the life of the Cure of Ars. One day he surprised a young girl by asking, my child, do you remember the dance you attended recently? You were vexed and jealous when a certain boy preferred others to you. When he departed, you thought you saw flames beneath his feet. My child, that youth was a demon. Those with whom he danced were in mortal sin. He did not dance with you because of your scapular, but your devotion to God's mother impelled you to wear. One of the most extraordinary scapular incidents in all history took place right here in America, in the town of Astabula, Ohio, about the turn of the century. A man was cut in two by a train. This man was wearing the scapular, so instead of dying at once, as is usual, he remained conscious for 45 minutes until a priest arrived to administer the sacraments. Then he died. Such events tell us that our Blessed Mother will take personal care of us in the hour of our death. So great a mother has the power to keep the contract she has made, to see that we die in God's grace. One day a French priest went on pilgrimage to Einsilden in Switzerland. On the way to Mass, he remembered he had forgotten his scapular. He thought, I'll be late, but I cannot say Mass at Mary's altar without her scapular, today of all days. As the priest was saying Mass, a young man approached the altar, pulled out a revolver, and shot him in the back. Men rushed up, but to the amazement of all, he continued his Mass. The abbot was called, and in the sacristy, he told the priest what had happened. Then he noticed the bullet hole in the vestments. I thought the man missed you, exclaimed the abbot. The bullet was found adhering to the little brown scapular. Our lady had been so pleased with his action of returning to the hotel for it that she had saved his life through her scapular. During the Spanish Civil War in the 1930s, seven communists were sentenced to death because of their crimes. A Carmelite priest tried to prepare them for death. They refused. As a last resort, he brought the men cigarettes, food, and wine, telling them that he would not talk religion. In a short while, they were all friendly, so he asked them for one small favor. Will you permit me to place a scapular on each of you? Six agreed. The seventh refused. Soon, all the scapular wearers went to confession. The seventh continued to refuse. But to please them, he put on a scapular, but would do no more. Morning came, and the seventh man had not asked for the priest, and it was time for the execution. 
He was going to his death, wearing the scapular, determined to die as an enemy of God. Finally, the officer gave the command, and the firing squad did its just work. Seven lifeless bodies. In some mysterious manner, one scapular had been removed. It was found 50 paces away. Six men died with Mary scapular. The seventh died without the scapular. Blessed Claude gives the reason. What if I desire to die in my sin? He answers, you will die in your sin, but you will not die in your scapular. He tells the story of the man who tried to drown himself. Against his will, he was rescued three times. Then he realized that he still wore his scapular and that our Blessed Mother had saved him. He tore his scapular from him and leaped into the water. He died without Mary's protecting garment. One day in 1944, a Carmelite missionary in the Holy Land was called to an internment camp to give the last rites. The Arab bus driver made father get off four miles from the camp because the road was dangerously muddy. After two miles had been covered, his feet sank deeper and deeper into the mud. Trying to get solid footing, he slipped into a muddy pool. Sinking to his death in a desolate place, he thought of Mary and her scapular. He kissed his great scapular, for he was wearing the full habit and looked toward Mount Carmel. There in the distance was the holy mountain of Carmel, the birthplace of devotion to God's mother. He cried out, Holy Mother of Carmel, help me, save me. A moment later, he found himself on solid ground. He told me, I know I was saved by the Blessed Virgin through her brown scapular. My shoes were lost in the mud, and I was covered with it. But I walked the two miles more through that desolate country, praising Mary. In 1951, the ancient home of St. Simon Stock at Aylesford, England, was rededicated, and the relics of the scapular saint returned there. Since then, thousands of scapular wearers have come on pilgrimage to Aylesford. In 1957, little Peter came. He was suffering from leukemia. His arms and legs were covered with ugly sores. He had only a few days to live. When he returned that very evening, the sores were gone. His strength had returned. His parents realized that he was cured. Doctors confirmed the complete cure. A Jesuit missionary in Guatemala tells the incident of Our Lady's protection in November of 1955, when a plane carrying 27 passengers crashed. All died except one young lady. When she saw what was going to happen, she took hold of her scapular and called on Mary for help. She suffered burns. Even her clothing was burned off, but her scapular was not touched by the flame. In the same year of 1955, another story was told in Midwest America. A third grader stopped in a gas station to put air in his bicycle tires, and at the very moment, an explosion occurred. His clothing was burned off, but his brown scapular remained unharmed, a symbol of Mary's protection. He was burned, but now he is perfectly well. A few scars from the explosion, and he has a special reason to remember the Blessed Mother's protection in time of danger. In wearing the scapular always, we make silent petition for our Blessed Mother's continual assistance. We share in all the prayers and good works 
of the Carmelite Scapular Confraternity throughout the world. 200 million working and praying together. A Colombian father who had been in China in 1956 tells about the power of Mary's scapular. During his days as a prisoner of the communists, he was allowed to attend the sick, but had no medicines for them. When he called one day on a little girl of two and a half years who was dying of cerebral meningitis, he prayed for her and enrolled her in the scapular, and she was immediately cured. His Eminence, Cardinal Carl of Santiago, Chile, told me several years ago, my country is Catholic today because of the Queen of Carmel. By means of her scapular, she works miracles here every day. In May of 1957, a Carmelite priest in Germany published the unusual story of how the scapular saved a home from fire. An entire row of homes had caught fire in Westphalen, Germany. The pious inhabitants of a two-family home, seeing the fire, immediately fastened a scapular to the main door of the house. Sparks flew over it and around it, but it stood unharmed. Within five hours, 22 homes were reduced to ashes and ruins. This one stood unharmed midst the destruction. Hundreds of people came to see the place Our Lady had saved. Pope Pius XII often addressed the scapular virgin. In his famous letter for the 700th anniversary of the scapular, he called it the sign of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The scapular represents the sweet yoke of Christ, which Mary helps us to bear. It marks us as one of her chosen children and becomes for us what the Germans call it, a garment of grace. In October of 1952, an Air Force officer in Texas wrote me the following. Six months ago, shortly after I started wearing the scapular, I experienced a remarkable change in my life. Almost at once, I started going to Mass every day. After a short time, I started to receive Holy Communion daily. I kept Lent with a fervor that I had never experienced before. I was introduced to the practice of meditation and found myself making feeble attempts on the way to perfection. I have been trying to live with God. I credit Mary's scapular. Blessed Claude tells us of all the pious practices which have inspired the faithful to honor the mother of God. There is none so sure as that of the scapular. No other has been confirmed by so many extraordinary and authentic miracles. How many fires has it not extinguished? How many times has it not been completely preserved among flames? Daily there is experience of the protection it offers. There are few persons who have not witnessed during some accident the respect which the very waves have for those who wear it. Mary promises to make easy by grace that which is difficult to nature, and to help with more than ordinary graces as long as we wear the sign of our consecration to her. Mary herself has said, take this scapular. Whosoever dies wearing it shall not suffer eternal fire. It shall be a sign of salvation, a protection in danger, and a pledge of peace.